Hello, hello, hello. One of the most common functions in Excel is the VLOOKUP. Uh, of course, there's the XLOOKUP now, which is way better. It's much more simple to use, and it doesn't have as much pitfalls and drawbacks as the VLOOKUP. I'll put a video for you guys to look into the XLOOKUP. So I'm going to give you a very brief walkthrough about the ways you can do a VLOOKUP slash XLOOKUP in Nine. Okay, so basically, as you know, with a VLOOKUP or XLOOKUP, you need to get data in another table based on a common based on a common column in both tables. So here, for instance, we have sales data for a store. We have countries here. And let's say we wanted to know the total order volume, yearly order volume for each of these zones. So we have here a table which has the country zones, which I just made up. I tried to group them in a way that makes sense, but please don't uh, study this. So there are two main nodes that I would consider when using, when trying to do uh, a lookup in Nine. You can use the joiner node or you can use the cell replacer node. I would recommend the joiner node over the cell replacer. The cell replacer might be, more, might be more straightforward for a very simple case, but if your data is more complicated, the joiner node pretty much covers everything. So I'm going to show you first the cell replacer. Again, this probably only works for something very simple and straightforward like this. So this node usually is supposed to be used to replace cells, but you can use it in the way you might use a lookup. So I connect my primary table to the top. And the table with the values I want to bring in, I'm going to connect them to the bottom port. I go in. It's asking me for the target column. This column is what I want to look up. So I want to look up the country. And then for the dictionary table, I need to tell it what is the joining key between these two. So it's also country on that side. And then it needs to know what do I want from that other table. And in this case, I want the zone. Now, here's where you can tweak this to function as a lookup versus a replacer. Here, you can append results as a new column. So instead of it going to delete what is in the country, it's going to append a new column, which we are going to call zone. Okay, and then now you run this. And you can see now we have the zone information. So for simple straightforward cases like this, that works. But let's say if this data was, was more robust and you needed to use more than one joining key. Imagine for instance, that you had the country and the state data in your sales data. And you also had sub zones for your country state peers. Okay, so now that we have our zone added, we also want to have these zone managers added because let's say we wanna know, you know which, which managers have the most sales, which, which zone managers have the most revenue. We want that included in our main data to be able to answer, answer those kinds of questions. So for this one, let's use a joiner node. So I'm gonna add the joiner to my workflow. I'm adding my main data to the first port and the supplementary or the, the data I need to search against to the bottom port. So I open this up and you can see the first thing it's asking is for the matching criterion. So it's going, hey, what do I what do I need to use to match these, these two uh, tables? So we're using the zone in this case because the zone manager table has the zone and the manager name. I want to match it to the zone. Now I'm going to make a, I, I thought I had a video on the joiner, but I may not have that. I'm going to make a more detailed uh, video on that in the future. So I'm not really going to get into this part yet. I'm going to save that for later. But I just want to let you know that if you had other joining keys, this is where you would add them. So let's say your table had, you know, zone and sub zones and state information, then you might have uh, those extra joining keys here to make sure things are matching to, to where they should match. So this has all the columns from our original table, which we need, but for the second table, we really don't need the zone again because it's already here, right? So we only need the manager name. So we're going to keep that there. And that's pretty much it. We click on OK and we run this. And now Nime has gone to query the zone in this table and return the associated manager. So here the first record belongs to zone two. And the manager for that is Han Solo. And it's done that for all the records. I'm going to check again if I have a video on the joiner. If I don't, I will make one that's very detailed because this is a very, very powerful node. And I find myself using it over and over and over and over again. So I'll do a detailed dive into this node. 
Alright, that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.